All right. So before I begin with uh, the entire process of implementing the outreach process, outreach automation, let me have a quick uh, recap of what we have done so far. So in this particular uh, series, we have already covered how do you audit a particular LinkedIn profile. So there is a set of uh, there is this detailed uh, checklist that uh, that we have followed through to kind of understand uh, uh, to analyze and correct the different areas of our LinkedIn profile because whenever we are outreaching the profile is going to be a decision making factor a trigger for the recipient to to decide if they would like to revert back to us so the profile is optimized right now as per the different uh, checklist items that you have listed down and also you have after the audit of the LinkedIn profile you have created a LinkedIn lead qualification framework. So what is this lead qualification framework? This is going to help us uh, understand or, or have a criteria at least to, to, to decide if a particular profile is our prospect prospect or not so based on that linkedin qualification uh, sorry lead qualification framework we have gone ahead to linkedin uh, sales navigator where we have an option to use multiple filters and shortlist profiles so here in this particular case in this particular example we are trying to reach out to people who are logic who are in the logistics and supply chain industry and they are pretty much the cxos and they are from the gcc countries uh, so based on the geographic filters based on that different uh, profile uh, designation and the 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 experience job experience filters and the different types of other job other other filters like job titles uh, what they what what they have done on LinkedIn in the past 30 days based on certain lead qualification framework filters that we have decided uh, we have got a list a, sh a shortlisted list of different profiles who match up to all of these criteria that you are looking to now i have got an export of that information uh, this list of profiles from the linkedin sales navigator now this is a huge list we, we are now going to reach out to these people we are going to prospect these people uh, to sell our products and services now this uh, this process might be time consuming if we try to go on a one to one basis if we try to manually go ahead open up all the links and connect all of these people it might take a long long time so just to expedite the process just to make this process more swift and seamless we are going to use a particular uh, tool called LinkedIn helper now this this tool is more of an automation tool this tool is going to help us uh, send connection requests to all of these prospects uh, uh, in automation so you just have to open up this software click on certain buttons here and there and it will start sending the connection request on our, on our behalf so it's more of an automation tool so the first step is to get into this LinkedIn tab and and log into your LinkedIn account and then the next step is to set up the campaign so this campaign is where you set up the automation flow so I'm gonna click on this plus button over here once you click on the plus button there are already pre-built templates so these are pre-built automation sequences that are already prepared for, for you so you just have to select the right one in case you are not sure about uh, which one is right for you you can just click on this empty campaign and create your own in my case it's pretty straightforward I'm gonna I'm, I'm trying to invite these people I'm gonna connect to these people and then send up a follow-up message so that I can start prospecting or start qualifying them for my sales process so invite and follow up is the right automation over here you can also scroll down in this particular area and check the different options that are there now you can make use of this automation as per your need uh, so for me right now just for the sake of this tutorial we're going to start with this invite and follow up this is the simplest and the most widely used automation process uh, for LinkedIn because for the first step is to get connected to people if you want to prospect them so this is the stage where we have to kind of uh, write our own message uh, you can just use these different dynamic fields over here these are the different variables it will automatically pick up uh, the name first name company whatever you use these dynamic fields are autom automatically gonna get picked up from the profiles of these users in our list so I'm gonna keep it as it is for the sake of time uh, let's say this is the first message so next and then wait until next uh, uh, so it, it, it kind of uh, gives you the instruction on what is gonna happen for the next uh, step so you can uh, you can read through this instruction and choose as per your likes uh, so for now I'm gonna wait wait uh, until a week uh, and then I'm gonna go to the next step so cancel invites okay so in case the user is not accepting my connection request in the next 15 days or so I'm gonna automatically cancel that request or withdraw that request uh, and once they have accepted my request I'm gonna send them a first uh, I'm gonna send them a follow-up message so in case you want to do that you can just have it activated I don't want to send them a follow-up message I just, I just want to connect them and then look at their profile manually and then send send a very tailored message so I'm gonna uncheck this one right now and finish now if you look at this area over here this says that the automation flow is created the workflow is created now the next step is to create a list so this list is essentially the list of the different profiles that this this tool is gonna reach out to all right so the campaign flow is done now the next step is to add the list of all the prospects that I want this tool to connect 
so I'm gonna hit this continue button over here and now there are two options so that you can straight away go to LinkedIn platform using by, if, by selecting this option if you select this option it allows this tool allows us to collect the data of these profiles from the LinkedIn search from sales navigator from recruiter and also any specific uh, LinkedIn page link that you might want to collect data from so this is one option I've already covered this in, in the other video so in today's session we are gonna look at how do we upload an external file the list of files that we've already shortlisted uh, in this in this uh, tool and uh, and create the automation uh, to to connect with this uh, profiles so csv file download from another linkedin helper so that you can have this one uh, so you can extract the data use, so using this tool you can also extract data from linkedin platforms so this is the option in case you are extracting data from linkedin platform using this tool uh, in my case i've already downloaded the data so i already have this list of uh, data so either I can paste here the list of all the profile URLs. This is one option. The other option is to choose the file uh, the, uh, that I have already downloaded. So in this case, CSV, text, uh, txt, and HTML files are only allowed to upload. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow a simple process where I can simply just copy the profile links. So these are the different profile URLs. I'm going to copy this and paste it over there. So this is a more simpler uh, way to go about it. Uh, otherwise you need to ensure that uh, in case you're following the first option of uploading the file you need to ensure that the file formatting is correct uh, in the in the copy paste process you just have to ensure that you are able to copy the copy all the URLs properly I'm gonna hit import so it's gonna upload all the profiles to this LinkedIn helper tool so yeah it's done there are 2348 profiles and now I can simply hit the start campaign and it will automatically start connecting with these people on LinkedIn. In case you want to check back, you can get back to your uh, campaigns. Now if you look at the campaigns workflow, you will be, you'll be able to see that there are these profiles in the queue. These are all the profiles that you have just uploaded and these profiles are going to get an invitation request from you. In this invitation request, you are, you are going to send a message to them. So where do you get the message? So this is a this is where you control the message. So in case you want to edit this message, you can just edit it from here. This is a connection request message that is going to get say, sent. Alongside that, if you also want to save this profile somewhere in other in in any of your CRM. Uh, account you can also do that from here in case you want to tag these profiles so let's say you are running multiple campaigns together and you want to tag profiles based on certain targeting criteria so certain certain information that you might want to so let's say these are all profiles from pharmacy industry so you can just mention over here pharmaceutical industry as a tag so this allows this is this tagging is just a way for you to understand all your profiles in this tool so it's not going to impact um, the way it looks that your message looks to the prospect it is just your internal information on this platform on this software so this is this professor on the queue and once they start getting the invitation request you'll, you'll see that the second action uh, you'll see that all the filters uh, in your network so so you can actually see the step-by-step -step process that is happening over here in case you want to add any other step in, in in between you can simply go ahead and click on this plus button over here add action and you can also add any other specific action that you might want to uh, do so let's say add action and then here are the list of different actions you can simply go ahead and use this so let, let's say when someone accepts my connection request I'm gonna go ahead and endorse their profile uh, skills or let's say I'm gonna go ahead and like and comment on their post so you can do all of those activities over here you can just shortlist it from this filter option and select it as an ad selected by clicking on this add button here and it will get added so this way you can create a detailed long workflow automation flow as per your likes uh, so this is the entire flow in case you have any specific doubts or questions in this entire process please drop it in the comment section let me uh, quickly help you with that by replying to your queries so yeah this is the entire process in case you want to get some statistics how it is performing on day on day to day basis you can go to dashboard and statistics to get a detailed understanding of how it is performing how this campaign is performing over time you can shortlist the time frame from here that's it uh, in case you need any other information or any other specific uh, use case to be discussed please let me know in the comment section thank you so much